Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello everyone, have an especially quick video here. I am in a rush, so really what we're looking at is the four hour time frame because things are getting really tight overnight and we're going to see one of two things happen. We're gonna break support or we're going to break resistance and that's going to dictate the overnight. Right now it's 6 p.m. Eastern, so I'm referring to the next 12 hours. So what I'm looking at is a support level and a resistance level. And we have a couple that we can be looking at. There's two key supports that I'm looking at on Bitcoin, 7,827 and 7,727, nice and easy to remember. In terms of resistance, it's the top from this morning. Again, still just clear four hour lower highs, unable to get over this exponential resistance. $8,088 is our last lower high. Anything under that level is just another lower high. So the bulls have to follow through and break this lower high pattern. The daily time frame is trying to form a bullish reversal candlestick. It's not a very strong one with the upper wick of profit taking. Bottom line is if the bulls don't break the four hour lower high pattern, the bulls aren't going anywhere. So that's step number one. If they do that, we will look for the daily chart to make a move to the mid $8,000 range to form this little equilibrium on the daily. But we have to be watching for a potential daily bear flag on this bounce as well. If this four hour move doesn't get going for the bulls, the potential of a little bear flag is entirely possible. So potential bear breaks would be 7,827. And then if we break 7,727, we're only looking down at the recent low of 7,310. So a lack of support nearby if we do break these levels which is why the bulls want to see a bull break where we stand even if we get a bull break i'm not expecting a ton of bull conviction so really the ideal scenario is patiently waiting for oversold conditions if we do make bull breaks again just scalping one or two hundred dollars profit on bitcoin has been the way to go over the past couple of weeks ethereum on the four hour time frame continues to show further weakness we only really have one support level 439 and the resistance is the four hour lower high of 464.89 if we break 439 on the four hour time frame daily chart has no support we're looking down at 400 psychological and 438 would come first 438 and then 415 so those are the next two daily levels if we break and we have a lack of support here on ethereum as the daily rsi is approaching 20 so again very clear four hour lower highs remain and in, unless they break the bears keep complete control litecoin also weaker dropped down to a lower low on the four hour we're nowhere near the last lower high same thing as last night we broke to lower lows compared to the big three so resistance is 140 anything under 140 is a lower high support right now is 130 and looking at the daily time frame after 130 support because we're already dropping down to lower lows we are looking down at 104 and then 100 psychological so there is a lack of support immediately nearby after these four hour supports break if they break so it's definitely a red flag to the bulls and if they break we would be looking back towards oversold rsi levels remember even though these rsis are more oversold on litecoin litecoin rsi right at 30 on the four hour ethereum on the four hour just above 30 bitcoin on the four hour nowhere near oversold so we have to keep bitcoin's rsi levels on watch nowhere near oversold on the hourly nor the four hour so even if we get bear breaks on these four hour time frames in terms of an oversold bounce setting up, it's going to take a few hundred dollars dropping off of Bitcoin even after this support levels break. So that's where we stand overnight. Again, even with a bull break, have to still remain cautious. You know, we're not seeing the kind of surges where we get bull breaks and then everybody FOMOs to get in. That doesn't happen in these current market conditions. So it would be a break of the lower highs and then we would look to establish some short-term higher lows and higher highs. I personally don't like any trade right now. This is a no trade zone. I did make a trade entry opportunity or an attempt earlier that did not play out where I made an entry here on this consolidation on this hourly candlestick initially, then it dropped really hard and I averaged down just a bit to try and hold the four, the hourly higher lows. And then it broke that support and now we're just chopping around for the last six hours. So in the end, very small loss. I lost about a, a $100 off of BTC. 
which is very easy to make back, you know, an oversold bounce. It's pretty easy to make 100 BTC. So the bottom line, keep those losers small. And it was a lesson for me, be more patient just because the, you know, just because you're looking for something to trade doesn't mean that the trade's going to be there. So my lesson learned was don't anticipate the break of the lower highs, which I was looking for after this big bull move. I was looking for an hourly higher low and then a break of the lower highs. Obviously we didn't get it. So my lesson is to wait for the pattern to break before looking bullish and was able to fortunately recoup in stock trading today. Still way more opportunity trading stocks than cryptocurrency recently. That will change eventually, but not for the time being. So that's where my attention is. And we'll see how we break tonight here on Bitcoin. Key resistance yet again is 8,088 as the bulls are right in the middle of support and resistance where we currently stand right now. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll be back with a little bit more length tomorrow and some more details. Have a great night. Do a good thing or two.